episode is sponsored by HelloFresh. So as you know, school is going on, but also all of our kids, all three of them just started soccer. So we have practices, we have games, and as you can imagine, my schedule is getting very busy. It is such a lifesaver with a weekly selection of over 30 recipes and over 70 convenience items, all delivered directly to your door. HelloFresh also has a line of kid-friendly recipes that are picky eater proof, perfect for families looking to try something new this school year. Now y'all know my motto is better every day and HelloFresh offers veggie, pescatarian, and fit and wholesome meals to make it easier to stick to your goals. Another really great thing about HelloFresh is their sustainability. They are the first carbon neutral meal kit company and nearly all of their packaging is recyclable. All the recipes have pre-portioned ingredients which means that's less prep for you and less wasted food. In fact, HelloFresh cuts down on wasted food by at least 25% compared to grocery shopping. Go to HelloFresh.com and use code OFFTHERANCH65 for 65% off plus free shipping. That's HelloFresh.com. If you use code OFFTHERANCH65, you get 65% off plus free shipping. Thanks HelloFresh for sponsoring this episode. Hey, guys, didn't see y'all there. Did y'all see my new ride? Oh no, that's not it. Um, I bought a car. Uh, but it's just not, it's not just any car, it's a... It's an exotic car. It's a luxury exotic car. Guys, let me introduce you to uh, the first luxury car I have ever purchased in my entire life. Um, it's a Rolls Royce. Limousine. <laughs> I don't really know how to explain this one, so I don't even know if I'm gonna try. Because I already did try with my wife and she was like, you did it again. And I'm like, I'm sorry, I'm really trying to stop, but I can't. I found it on Craigslist, and I was like, Matt, when was the last time you saw a Rolls Royce limousine on Craigslist? And I was like, Matt, I've never seen that before. And I was like, Matt, you think you're ever going to see one again? And I was like, you know what, Matt? I don't think I am. <laughs> <laughs> so I bought it. <laughs> And man, it's, let me tell you, it's nice. Don't look at it. No, 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 no. It's, it's nice. Just trust me. It's, it's a nice car. Let me tell you some of its quirks and features. Actually, we're going to move it out of the sun because it is blistering hot in Texas right now. So I'm going to drag it forward with the Cuda. Um, there's no steering wheel, but I think that's fine. Um, I also don't know where the gear shifter is. I can't figure it out. I, I have spent about, I don't know, probably 30 minutes. We went to this guy's house. I load up on my trailer and then I parked it here and I haven't told you guys about it yet because I've been trying to decide if I should even keep this car or get rid of it. And I knew if I showed you, then I'd have to keep it. So here we are, keeping the, the Rolls Royce. Uh, but I'm just gonna dra drag it out and put it in the shade because it is freaking hot. I hope it'll drag. I, I think it's either in neutral or it doesn't have a transmission. I don't know. Also, the wheels are locked up, kind of. Like half of them are. Not sure why. <laughs> Well, valve coming power, you know. Actually have not even looked like really I've, I've peered in the windows I haven't I, ever got in the car um, there's no steering wheel and so we backed my trailer up straight to it and just winched it up on the trailer and then we just dumped it off the back and that's all we've ever done uh, so where to start um, this is a 1971 Rolls-Royce Silver Shadow limo it is a factory limo so apparently they came from the factory like this this isn't a stretch Silver Shadow it is a factory limo, um, which is cool. You can tell it's got a big extra section here. Um, Rolls Royce, they were big cars anyway. So this one's got a big, like four and a half foot extension in the middle that is from the factory. We do have a little bit of rust, just a little, a little bit of rust. Not a big deal. Uh, we're just gonna go over everything on the outside first. If you look at the front, you can tell it's missing quite a few things. So the guy who I bought this from, it sat in his junkyard for a long time um, and he actually sold off all the pieces of value <laughs> from this car so all the headlights headlight bezels turn signals the bumper the iconic rolls-royce grill and hood ornament all gone because someone was like 
yeah, those are worth something. We can part this thing out and sell it on eBay. So it's missing like everything that's worth anything, um, which is why I got it for really, really cheap. Everything, including, I don't actually know how to open this hood. I have never seen it open, but I've been told there's not actually a Rolls Royce engine in it. But there is an engine, I think. Oh. Okay, feast your eyes on this Rolls Royce V12. Oh, nope, that's a Chevy small block. <laughs> <laughs> so at some point, uh, I'm sure, that, I mean, this car is 50 years old. So at some point, the Rolls-Royce engine went out and they said, you know, it's a lot cheaper than a new Rolls-Royce engine, just a small block Chevy. And so I haven't pulled anything out in here to see if, uh, see what, what's on this, you know, what numbers are on this, but I'm, it's probably a 350, 327, something like that. Everything's there. I mean, it's got it's totally hooked up so it for sure ran with this chevy 350 but i think it hasn't ran in like 20 years so i'm imagining sometime you know 1993 they put a chevy engine in this thing and they drove it until around 2003 and then it sat here for almost 20 years um, in non-driving state and they picked it apart to get what they could off of it got some fancy european stuff over here a little sound deadener under there that's nice. Let's go look at the back real quick. This is also a vinyl top. It's white vinyl top. You can see the stitching here. So that's ruined also. There's not a lot of good stuff on this car, which is why my wife is not super pumped about this. Actually, I actually haven't looked in the trunk yet. Whoa, oh, it's a wasp nest, but it's a dead one. Cool. Okay, yeah, we're good. Oh, there's a secret compartment here. Trunk's good. Can we go ahead and show you guys inside? So this door doesn't open. This door doesn't close. So we actually have it taped shut, which is fine. The front is worse than the back. So just, just wait for your judgment until you see the back. The back's nice, okay? You're gonna like it, which is what's important in limo anyway. We do have a cell phone in case we need to make a call as a driver, you know? Like, Mr. Carricker, we are on our way. We're, we're outside waiting for you right now. Yep, yep, we have the champagne ready for you. Yes, sir. It's, it's chilled, chilled, chilled. I don't know what they say. <laughs> we have a cell phone, uh, so I can make calls. There's a lot of um, just oddities. I have no idea, this makes no sense. But these seats are huge and plush, and we have the dash. That's pretty nice, I can use that. I'm not saying it's a good idea, okay? Come to the other side, the other side's nicer. It's not, oh, I'm gonna sit it. Oh yeah, it's gross. All right, so check this out. We got all these switches, windows. So we got power. What is that? That looks like a door lock. Is there no handle up here? These electronic opening doors? Fancy. These are all power windows. You can see a big power motor down there. I mean, this is top of the line back in 1971, guys. As you can see, all the gauges are sold. I mean, everything. Everything of value. Look at that parking brake still works. It looks good. And when I say I don't know where the shifter is, it's because I have no idea. This is, I think, a turn signal because it just, it just kind of clicks. Oh wait, no, that is a shift. Dude, this has an electronic shifter. But there's no way it did when it had a 350 in it or whatever is in there right now. So where's the shifter for the, the new transmit? I don't know. That does look like a shifter. I know nothing about this car if you can't tell. The worst little tiny radio you've ever seen with a cassette deck. Oh my gosh, there's so many buttons here. There are a million little fuse buttons here and those are actually switches oh yeah i just got to push them hard those are switches they're not fuses i have no idea what they're for ah here we go one is main power to something then we have the division screen division window that goes right here behind me so if they're partying in the back i can give them their privacy either just a screen where i can still hear them i guess or i can put up the window so like they're totally blocked so y'all can party back there Emergency start intercom buzzer. Oh, maybe this is for the intercom. No, because you can type in cell phone. I bet you can intercom also. This is a bad deal. I don't really know what I was doing. Is this a little Bluetooth or something? I don't know. Let's look at the back. It's nice. On the driver's side, also, the back door doesn't open and the front door doesn't close. I mean, which is good because that means no one's been in the back for 20 years or something. Like it's, it's done. But go in there, have a gander. It's pretty nice. Hold on, wait, 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 wait. You're doing it all wrong. 
Do it with epic montage. Oh, hey, I gotta go. I gotta go. Yeah, I'll, I'll call you back. Bye. Hey, guys, just chilling in my limo. Oh, sorry. Um, Yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna do with this thing. I kind of want your opinions. I'm showing it. I don't know if we're gonna keep it. I I don't know. Like, do we fix it up? Do we make it nice? Like, it once was a very nice, luxurious car. And it would be sweet to have a 1971 Rolls-Royce limo rolling around town. But then I'm also like, LS swap and make it a burnout car? Like, no one has a Rolls-Royce limo burnout car, which would be pretty sick. <sighs> I don't know. Option C is just get rid of it. Matt, sell it. Sell it for half what you bought it for. Just, like, get rid of it before you waste a bunch of time and money on this thing. Uh, that's, a, that's a pretty good option. So, anyway, comment below what you think we should do with this stupid car. Or if you're like, Matt, that's the coolest car you got. You got to make it awesome. LS swap it. Make it amazing. Or put a real Rolls-Royce engine back in and in it. Let's go. I don't know. I'm kind of excited and kind of like, mm, this is a lot. I, I probably bit off more than I can chew on this one. So. I don't know. It has the same wheelbase as Earl. Oh my god! Cole's Royce! <laughs> oh. oh. Hey, what camera is that? Number. Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell Mayor.